On November 21, 2024, between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m., Russia allegedly launched an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, strike on the city of Dnipro, Ukraine, using the RS-26 Rubesh missile. Sources from Ukrainian social media platforms suggest that the missile potentially identified as the RS-26 Rubesh or Avangard, NATO designation SSX-31, was fired from the Kapustin Yar test site in Russia's Astrakhan region. This missile, capable of carrying nuclear warheads, is part of Russia's growing arsenal of advanced weapons, and its use in this attack raises significant concerns about the escalation of the ongoing conflict. The RS-26 Rubesh is a medium-range ballistic missile, IRBM, that can strike targets up to 6,000 kilometers away. While it is classified as an IRBM, it is also capable of functioning as an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, when equipped for longer-range strikes. The missile has a range of 2,000 to 6,000 kilometers, which allows it to target regional sites within Ukraine, NATO installations in Europe, and potentially even distant targets if necessary. Its flexibility, with the ability to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, makes it a formidable component of Russia's nuclear and conventional strike capabilities. The RS-26 has been developed as part of a program initiated in 2007 by the Moscow Institute of Thermal Technology, MIT, with its first tests occurring in 2011. These tests demonstrated the missile's ability to maneuver unpredictably during flight, a feature that makes it highly resistant to interception. This capability is crucial in evading modern missile defense systems. The alleged missile attack on Dnipro highlights the evolving nature of the conflict. Although the missile used in the strike does not appear to have been nuclear, the use of an RS-26 Rubesh is still a significant escalation. The missile's long-range capabilities, advanced evasion technology, and ability to carry a nuclear payload underscore Russia's intent to employ increasingly sophisticated means to target critical Ukrainian infrastructure. The strike on Dnipro was part of a larger coordinated operation, which also saw the launch of KH-47M2 Kinsel hypersonic missiles and KH-101 cruise missiles. These sophisticated weapons, launched from MiG-31K fighter jets and two 95MS strategic bombers, are indicative of Russia's efforts to overwhelm Ukraine's air defense systems with a multi-layered approach. The RS-26 Rubesh fills a unique role within Russia's missile systems. It bridges the gap between medium-range and intercontinental ballistic missiles, making it a versatile tool in both regional and global strategic operations. Its mobile launch platform adds to its survivability, as it can be deployed quickly and discreetly, avoiding early detection. Furthermore, its ability to carry either a conventional or nuclear warhead adds to its adaptability, allowing it to serve in various strategic roles. One of the key innovations of the RS-26 is its ability to follow unpredictable flight paths, a feature that makes it particularly difficult for missile defense systems to intercept. During flight, the missile can leave the Earth's atmosphere and re-enter at high speeds, performing unpredictable maneuvers in the final phase of its trajectory. The missile can also deploy decoys, overwhelming radars and further complicating interception attempts. These technological advancements allow the RS-26 to evade defenses such as the US-deployed THAAD system, which has struggled to intercept advanced ICBMs in tests. If confirmed, the use of the RS-26 against Dnipro sends a strong message to both Ukraine and the West. It signals Russia's readiness to escalate the conflict and demonstrates the effectiveness of its missile technology. The attack also serves as a test of Ukraine's air defense systems, which, if unable to intercept such advanced threats, could further embolden Russian forces. The RS-20 SAXS launch also marks a potential shift in Russia's strategy. By using a missile with both regional and intercontinental capabilities, Russia is demonstrating its capacity to strike at NATO bases and other far-reaching targets if necessary. The missile's versatility in deployment and payloads increases the psychological pressure on Ukraine and its allies highlighting Russia's willingness to escalate the conflict to new levels. The alleged strike on Dnipro with the RS-26 Rubesh missile represents a troubling development in the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. While the missile reportedly carried a conventional warhead, the use of such a strategic weapon highlights the rising stakes in the conflict. Russia's growing arsenal of advanced missiles, including the RS-26, poses significant challenges to Ukraine's defense systems and increases the potential for further escalation. As the situation continues to evolve, the world watches closely to see how these advanced technologies will shape the future of the conflict and global security.